Now this is another example that is square root of 50. Now square root of 50 is not a perfect square. Then we reduce this uh, square root of 50 into perfect square. Means perfect square when we reduce 50 into perfect square then we write this way square root of 50 into square root of 2 when we multiply this 2 then product of this 2 is square root of 100 and square root of 100 means 100 is a perfect square 100 is a perfect square and this is the square this square of which number 10 means our answer that is rationalizing factor is equal to square root of 2 that is our answer we also solve this by using this method that is this 50 we split or reduce into perfect square and another number prime number or any other number 25 into 2 therefore square root of 25 is 5 and remaining square root of 2 now this square root of 2 square root of 2 v means this is irrational number we reduce this into rational number by multiplying to this multiplying to this square root of 2 by square root of 2 therefore 5 into square root of 2 into square root of 2 2 therefore again answer is 10 therefore our rationalizing factor that is 2 this is our answer by two ways